Hey, hello, hello. Hi guys, how you doing? God bless you. <clears throat> yeah, just uh, wanted to just jump on here quickly and uh, just give you an update um, of what's happening on my mission trip currently, a current mission trip. Um, so yeah, so I'm on my way back home um, to Aberdeen, Scotland. And um, yeah, it's been an amazing... <laughs> Hi, Alison, God bless you. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's really been an amazing trip so far, you know, um, just going back home. I want to show you something I just got at the airport. I'm at the airport right now in Gothenburg. Um, I'm going towards uh, Amsterdam, so I'm going to drop off in Amsterdam from there and so then take a connecting flight back to Aberdeen. But I want to show you what I just got. Uh, oh, good to see you, Alison. <laughs> I'll catch up on all your videos. Awesome. Oh, you know, I'm so glad for you, Alison. I just thank God for what he's done in your life, and I just pray and I decree and declare it's permanent in Jesus' name, total healing and restoration. Hallelujah. So I want to show you this. Oh, you can't see it because it's written backward on, your, on the camera, but it's um, my little trinkets. I like to take, uh, you know, memorabilia. I just take, uh, you know, things when you go into a country. And uh, yeah, so this has got a little Gutenberg uh, fridge magnet. <laughs> awesome, I love my fridge magnets. I got anywhere I go, uh, any country I go, I just like to take fridge magnets and just remind yourself uh, where you've been and what got done. So, anyway, so yeah, just um, some of you have seen the Facebook videos. I'll kind of try to update you um, as we've kind of gone along the three day conference. It was a three day conference. Um, the conference, like you saw from the videos, um, was right in the middle of city center. Like, you know, I've been, <laughs> you know, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, Alison, I stand in complete agreement with you. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, three-day conference in the middle of city center, you know, in Sweden. So this is in Europe. So for those who say God doesn't move in Europe and we don't see miracles in Europe. Sorry to tell you, man. We see miracles in Europe everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are, God is the same. Hallelujah. Yesterday, today, and forever, doesn't matter. He's the same God. The God of Europe is to the God of Africa, is to the God of Asia, is to the God of wherever, Americas. He's the same God. So anyway, we saw amazing miracles. I would, oh my gosh, man. You, you really had to be there to experience what we saw. You know, when I was coming out on this trip and praying and thinking and meditating and just waiting on God on this trip, you know, yeah, I, I knew God was going to work miracles, obviously, He always works miracles, you know, but I had no grid of reference, I honestly, I, I, I was saying to my, um, to the pastor who invited me, Pastor David, and I said to him, I said, you know what, God humbled me um, in this uh, conference, because in my mind, I was like, yeah, God's going to, obviously going to heal, He's going to feel a few headaches, back aches, and belly aches, and, you know, the normal usual stuff we see. You know, but you know what God did? <laughs> God blew my grid of reference. Like, it was, like, totally way out there. Like, you know, and um, I was totally humbled because I definitely knew it wasn't me anyway. But, uh, you know, it just shows that when we are willing, the Bible says, if you, will, if you are willing and obedient, you shall see or eat the good of the land. When we make ourselves available to God, we're not saying we're perfect in ourselves. Far from it. We're not perfect in ourselves. We are not righteous or holy in ourselves, but He perfects us. We, he is our righteousness. He is our holiness. So, you know, we stand before Him as though we've never sinned. That's what righteousness is all about. That's what the grace of God is all about, you know. And, um, you know, I was able to teach. Hi, hi, Renate. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Hi, hello. God bless you. Yeah, so, man, I'm, I'm totally, like, full ad adrenaline rush. I don't know what to call it, but... Uh, totally pumped exhausted from ministering constantly for the past four days but it's been great it's been i wouldn't trade it for the world i really wouldn't trade it for the world honestly you know the bible says you know the the the, the people of old or the prophets of old they dreamed you know <laughs> hallelujah they dreamed to see the things that we are seeing they, they were they were you know they were fantasizing and imagining what it would be like to actually you know experience Hi, God bless you, Aloha, hallelujah. You know, um, to experience what we are experiencing right now, you understand? And, and I feel like we are just scratching the surface. That's honestly, that's my honest opinion. It's actually, I feel we are really just scratching the surface of what God can do and what God can do through us, hallelujah. My heart and my passion and my vision is to see revival break out in Europe. That's my heart. That is actually what I'm believing for. It's not just one city. It's actually the whole of Europe 
on fire for Jesus and turn around again and follow Jesus. That is what I'm game, aiming for. That's what my heart and passion is. And that's what we're believing for. That the things we saw here, you know, God bless you, Pastor Sako. God bless you. Hallelujah. How is Cameroon? You know, the things we saw here in, um, in Gothenburg. Hallelujah. My God. You know, the first day was like, oh, what is happening? It's like nothing is going on. And, uh, you know, I mean, God just showed up. Like, you know, he just said, do you know what? I'm here. <laughs> yeah, hallelujah. Yes, Renate, Renate. You know, the supernatural becomes natural. This is actually, you know, most people, they, they, they think, you know, we're, we're praying for revival. We're not praying for revival. I definitely don't pray for revival. I am a walking revival. I'm a revival going somewhere to happen. And that's not boasting on myself. Far from exactly boasting on God and the finished work on Christ. That after the cross, there's no prayer for revival. Why are we waiting? You know, it's like they waited in the upper room for the Holy Spirit. The, the, the day the Holy Spirit came, they stopped waiting. They were out on the streets doing the works of Jesus, healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out devils. That is what the Holy Spirit is in us for. You know, it's not for us to sit down on our couches and watch, you know, whatever we do all day. It's actually for us to go and be a witness for Jesus. The Bible says you shall receive power. After the Holy Spirit has come upon you, um, the power to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and unto the ends of the earth. So the Holy Spirit on the inside of every one of us has equipped us to become able witnesses. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So every one of us is actually a powerhouse. Every one of us walks or can walk in the supernatural. But the problem is wrong teaching, wrong doctrine wrong believing wrong understanding so we usually don't know who we are and we are letting the devil chase us around the corner and you know like you know running ragged and while when you show up the devil should be on his trembling on his knees like whoa these guys have shown up you know what there's a lot to teach hallelujah you know there's a lot to sh to demonstrate actually it's not just teaching but it's actually demonstrating the kingdom because the bible didn't say go and teach the kingdom he said, go and preach the kingdom, then heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. So when you preach the kingdom, you demonstrate what the kingdom is like. Because in the kingdom, there is no sickness, there's no disease, there's no, there's no infirmity, there's no poverty, there's nothing like that in heaven. So we bring heaven to earth, hallelujah. We are the conduits, hallelujah. We, we, are, the, we, are, the, we, are, the, we are like, um, if, you, if you think about the powerhouse, you think about the, the, the power station generating power, hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Sako. Please pray for us. I'm praying for you guys in Boya as well, hallelujah, and Cameroon. Um, you know, we are like, the, the Holy Spirit is like the generator, like the, the you know, generating power. And the connection, we are like the socket, you know, the, we, we're like the socket into which he connects himself. And then we release that power wherever we go by faith. How is the power released? I just want to share one thing with you um, just before I go off this call or this um, Facebook. As how do we release now? I was teaching something over this conference, which I was teaching in the church and everything, and I, on the radio as well. And I said something. And I said, an astronaut, when he goes into space, has a suit which he wears. Inside that suit is, that, is a different atmosphere than the atmosphere that is outside the suit. Inside his suit is oxygen, is everything he needs to survive. If he goes outside his spaceship, he must wear his suit because if he takes his helmet off, he takes his suit off, he will die instantly. The same way with us, in Christ Jesus, is a different atmosphere than the atmosphere that is in the world. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Romans chapter 8 from verse 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free, has set you free from the law of sin and death. Which means, in Christ Jesus, the atmosphere that is in Christ, that is in me, is the law of the spirit of life. But there is a law at work outside that realm, outside of Christ is the law of sin and death. And that law of sin and death causes sickness, disease, poverty, every negative thing you can think about is, is happening outside of Christ. But in Christ, in the kingdom, is righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Spirit, is healing, health, 
you know, prosperity, blessing, whatever good thing you can think of, is all inside the kingdom of God. So like you are like that astronaut that has a different atmosphere on the inside of you. This is the revelation I want to give to you. That inside of you is the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is in you. Hallelujah. So inside of you, like that, like that astronaut, is a different atmosphere, is a different kingdom. In you is the kingdom of God. But the problem is this, or the, the, the key is this, you must release the kingdom of God out of you into the world. That is why Jesus said, go and say to them, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Then heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. Because when you go to a city, when you go to a nation, when you go wherever you go, and you release what is on the inside of you, which is the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of God. How do you release the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is released by words. In the kingdom, things function by words. Is voice activated and is released by faith? For because faith is released by your words, it actually can release by your thoughts. But anyway, let me just go by the words for now. Faith actually is is is, is released by your intent. So I'm trying to teach faith, but faith is actually my intention. So if I'm if I'm decreeing the song be healed, I'm releasing. Hallelujah, I'm releasing the word of healing by faith. I may just, I just need to touch someone. The Bible says, just lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. I can just touch people and they be healed. Actually, you can just think the thought and they be healed. Whatever you want to do, you know, you can release healing. But whatever you do, it's actually your intent. What do you intend to do? So, by faith, we heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. We release the atmosphere of heaven that is on the inside of us into the person. And in that atmosphere in heaven, there is no sickness, no disease, no poverty, no whatever it is. And that is how we heal the sick. We are simply making it as it is in heaven on earth. Wherever you go, heaven is there. Hallelujah. So you as a child of God, simply release what is on the inside of you. What is on the inside of you is the atmosphere of heaven. And that is what we release when we pray for the sick or when we heal or do works of Jesus, whatever it is we do, casting out devils. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Anyway, I'm going to jump in on my flight. I think they're calling us now. But... um. I just want to encourage you guys, go out and make disciples of all nations, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils, glory be to God. And uh, God bless you guys, man, have a wonderful day, and uh, wherever you are, just God bless you, good. If you're not saved, if you don't know Jesus, what I'm talking right now is Greek to you, you need to get born again, because if you're not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Give your life to Jesus. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and personal Savior. And he will come in, in there right away. So God bless you guys. Man. Have a wonderful day and uh, take care. Like, love you guys. Bye.